So when most people think of mills here in Massachusetts, they probably think of the Merrimack Valley, right. Fall River, New Bedford. But did you know that one of the most successful and longest running mills in the Bay State is actually located in Canton? Here's Doug Meehan with tonight's Made a Mess. The sounds of manufacturing have been spinning away at this exact location in Canton for over 163 years. Welcome to Draper Knitting. So we make the fabrics that go into a lot of finished goods that you might see around. Textile manufacturing is literally in Kristen Draper's blood. She's president of the company that was started by her great, 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 great grandfather, James Draper. So this is kind of where it all starts. This is our warehouse for fiber. Inside this 130,000 square foot mill, huge bales of wool or synthetic materials are sorted and blended. This will blow the fiber in from the top. It will spin it around and continue to blend it to make sure it's a homogenous blend. As it makes its way down the line, the material is combed and combined into a textile to be used in all types of products. So you can see it forms a web. Oh yeah, is that what this is here? Exactly, so those are just the fibers riding up. Everything from garments to blankets to insulation for footwear to even paint rollers. At Draper, diversity has been stitched into the DNA of this company's success. We actually have three types of fabric formation, which is very unusual under one roof. So we make non-woven stitch bonded fabrics. Those are fabrics made only with fiber. We also have conventional knitting, which is knitting only with yarn. So that's jerseys, things like that. And then pile fabric, which is uh, circular knit high pile. That's paint rollers, air filtration, Patagonia jackets, a little bit of everything. Back to the beginning of Draper Knitting. More than a century ago, it was one of the few mills at the time that was not built near or on a river. Instead of using hydropower to run the mill, they used horsepower. Literally, horses walking around in circle replaced water paddle wheels that would generate the power needed to run the mill. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.